when we sit around the tables as uh, leaders and we share our common goals and at the same time discuss some of our ideologies, that, that's strength. It really brings honor to our Kodesh Baruch Hu and uh, makes Chicago the special community that it is. Whether it be providing educational resources for students, professional development for teachers, government funding for educational resources that we need in our system, parenting programs for families, the educational system of our community is being strengthened every day and every facet of our community is being touched by the ATT. I think if you take a look at all the large cities throughout the United States, I'm, I'm confident to say that Chicago's educational system is probably the best in the United States today. And the associate has a lot to do with that. That there's one organization that acts to unify all the schools in a community who are able to come together under one organization that unifies them, that's something that I don't take for granted. Elan helps the children in the ATT day school systems by being the best that they can be. Whether that's by providing professionals that come in and do observations and collaborate with the teachers, with outside professionals, with the school administrators, but the focus is entirely on advocating what's in the best interest for that child within that classroom. You're telling me that there's some concerns going on in class the Rebbe shared with you. Describe for me what I think the ATT deserves a lot of credit for seeing the need and implementing programs like Patach that serve the needs of our special needs children, giving them the opportunity to succeed and giving their families the opportunity to be proud of their success. At the bottom line, the ATT has come through setting up in such a way these types of programs which will help ensure the continuity of Jewish education, the continuity of making sure our children are growing up the way we would like them to be. Ilana Patach are very good examples of what the Associated Talmud Torahs can do, providing the resources that would not be available to a single school. Without Patach, a lot of these children would not be able to remain within the Jewish day schools and would have no choice but to go to the public school system and we would lose these children to the Jewish community. We have a tremendous amount of appreciation for Brian Atab who has helped us a lot in um, in finding the suit of the right place for our daughter and helping her succeed in school. A great example of what the ATT does for Airy Crown is professional development of our staff. The idea that a teacher has to continue to make themselves better is the greatest example for the education of the children that we strive, we're striving for excellence. Once a year at Teachers Conference Day, all of our teachers, we are talking about over 500 teachers, come together and network and hear the latest people in the fields with the latest techniques and it is just a fabulous day. I'm here at the ATT where our teachers are networking and learning just as their students do. We have the fall semester where they offer a large amount of classes given on different nights that Rebbeim and teachers can choose from, ranging anywhere from computers to how to reach every child in your classroom, classroom management, discipline, as well as educational tools. It's very exciting this year that there was a special competition and a special award given to outstanding teachers in our system. The idea of recognizing teachers for all that they do for our children is something that we need to continue to do more and more of. So if they're mummifying, what are they? They're the subject. Yes, okay. Good, so we're missing the last part, which is fine. It's correct. Go ahead. Simulim, if we want to end the issue, 
We had over 50 applicants to choose three. All 50 were probably deservant of it. And the process to come up with only three was a very difficult process. But it's time that we put teachers, mechanchim, on a high pedestal. The Associated Talmud Torahs has been able to create new avenues of support for our Jewish schools from the government. We've been able to bring in and receive hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. We have procured in the last few years over a million dollars in federal um, programs. The dollars do not come to us as funds directly, but instead as services and materials that impact instruction. really clicking on all cylinders in my opinion. I really think that we're getting more scientific and more modern in our approach to education and in administration. I personally have been very excited with the new leadership of the ATT under Rabbis Muller and Reisman. Both have been very outgoing and very generous with their time trying to learn what the schools need, how they can be responsive. We're very pleased, those of us who've been here for a very long time, been active for a long time, to have Rabbi Muller and have Rabbi Reisman as the new leaders of the Associated Talmud Torahs, building on a legacy started by Rabbi Saxon, Rabbi Mishkin, and Rabbi Schwartzman, and Rabbi Well. Uh, this continuity, this picking up the torch of Jewish education is now in fine hands, and we look forward to their continued success. We are here as uh, board members, executive board members, wishing the leadership of our organization, Rabbi Reisman and Rabbi Moller, great amount of strength I am very happy with the new administration and what they're doing, uh, the newsletters they're putting out, the promotional bulletins they're putting out, all kind of educational programs for the teachers. They are now educating the community to what the Associated Talmud Torah stands for, what they're doing. I'd like to thank the Associated Talmud Torahs for the help that they offer, both in the classroom, to the individual rabbeim, and to the administration. From somebody who's benefited from within and realizes how much they give to the children of the schools, I can honestly say that this community, it's a vital part of the Jewish educational system. If we had all the money we needed for Jewish education, we could do so much more. A lot of kids today are not attending any Jewish program. And one of the reasons is because they can't afford it. I'm excited about the future growth of the ATT. Rabbi Muller has many new initiatives that he's planned for the coming year, training seminars, professional development. We're working closely with the schools on a number of different fronts. And the only way that we can continue to grow these programs is with your support. And we hope that the showing here tonight, and of course, the constant support of the community will help make Chicago a beacon of light to the entire world in Jewish education. <laughs>